Hi, this is Mrs. Smith, and this is for my Year 12 class. We've completed the binomial expansion and the assignment um, that was in the booklet, so this is question 2, which I asked you to hand in. So we need to use the binomial expansion to find 2x add 5 all to the power of 4, simplifying the terms to pick up all four marks. So what we need to do is remember that our binomial expansion for the row of power of 4 is 1, 4, 6, 4, 1, which is using 4 choose 0, 4 choose 1, 4 choose 2, 4 choose 3 and 4 choose 4. So we've got two parts of the bracket. We have our left hand side and we have our right hand side. So 2x add 5 all to the power of 4 is our n choose 0 or in this case 1 and we need to take the left hand side which is the 2x taking the whole thing that is to the power of 4 and our right hand side which is positive 5 all to the power of 0 noticing that the powers add up to the final power of the expansion power of 4 over here add our second term which has a coefficient at the beginning of 4 times our 2x we're raising that to the power of 3 going down by 1 each time and our power of 5 is now going up by 1 add our next term 6 times our 2x again taking the whole part of the bracket and they're going down by 1 power so it's now power of 2 and we have 5 squared. Again, power of 2, add 2, gives us a 4. 3 and 1 gives us a 4. So we need to double check that our coefficients, the power of the expansion, always adds up to the coefficient of the power on the left hand side. Add, so we've got 1, 4, 6, 4 times 2x, this times to the power of 1, and 5 to the power of 3. Add 1 times 2x all to the power of 0 and 5 all to the power of 4. So we've got 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. Our 2x to the power of 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Our 5 to the power of 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. We need to tidy it up a little bit. So we've got 1 times we need to raise the whole of the 2x to the power of 4. So 2, 4, 8, 16x to the 4. And 5 to the 0 is 1. Add 4 times 2 cubed and x cubed. So 2 cubed is 8. x cubed times 5 to the power of 1, which is just 5. Add 6 times, we're squaring everything in the bracket. So 2 squared and the x squared, which is 4x squared. We need to square the 5 times 25. Add 4 times 2x to the power of 1 is 2x and 5 cubed is 125. Add 1 times 2x all to the power of 0 is 1. And 5 to the power of 4, 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 is 625. Okay, we still need to tidy up that a little bit further. 1 times 1 times a 16 gives me 16x to the 4. Add 4 times a 5 gives me my 20 times 8 is 160x cubed. Add 4 times 25 is 100 times a 6, 600x squared. Add 4 times 125 is the 250 times 4 is 1000x. Add 6 to 5. Of course, you can do these in your calculator um, or you can do them without. Just double check them, make sure you get them correct. Okay, so that's worth four marks. Moving on to the second part of the question, it's a hence. Show that, and we notice that we have the first part of the, the bracket expansion is the exact same as we have up in part A. So we're using this part of the question, and then we have to do the subtraction of the 2x minus 5 all to the power of 4 and we need to show that this can be written as 320x cubed 
plus a quantity of the x. And we've been asked to find out what the x value is. So from our expansion that we have above, I'm going to move it up slightly. So I'm just see what I'm left with. I'm going to have a look at what this part is with the negative. So the only thing that is going to change here, 2x minus 5 to the power of 4, is that in a bracket at the top, this is going to alternate because it's going to be a minus 5 instead of a positive 5. So it's going to alternate between a positive and negative power. Minus 5 to the 0 is still just 1. But this term is now going to be negative because it's negative 5 all to the power of 1. Negative 5 all squared is going to be positive, negative, and positive. So we can actually get away, hopefully, by writing the whole thing out by just alternating the sign. So I get 16x to the 4 take away 160x cubed plus 600x squared take away 1000x plus the 625 so putting these two parts together from part a and part b i've got 16x to the 4 add 160x cubed add sorry move that 600x squared add 1000x plus 625 and I'm taking away the 16x to the 4 take away 160x cubed add 600x squared take away 1000x plus 625 so if we look at these, we're going to have terms which cancel because we've got the same quantities but an alternate sign. So we're going to find that they two are going to cancel. Our x squared terms are going to cancel and our constant term at the end is going to cancel. Which leaves us with the 160x cubed take away negative. 160x cubed, so take away a negative becomes positive, and we get the 320x cubed, which is what we had, we were asked to show. And then we have our x term, so we have 1000x, take away negative 1000x, so the take away negative becomes plus, so I have 2000x, so my value of k, is 2000 and that's worth the additional two marks to get you the six marks overall.